Hey harmonizers, welcome to this video, which is Alicia doing the finale in the competitive trail class. So we're just walking into the big covered arena here for the retired racehorse project thoroughbred makeover finale. We're doing a little balance beam there. So I posted a video earlier, which was the preliminary round, which was outside. And then for the finale, they take all 10 disciplines and the top five riders come back to compete. So we, uh, I did a different video for the freestyle. So she did her freestyle and won her freestyle first, which actually kind of relaxed and settled me coming into my trail class because I was like, all right, my horse has already been in here. She's already calm and relaxed with the environment, with the noise, with the jumbotron and everything going on. So I felt really good going into this uh, trail class here. And she did that balance beam so nicely, which was actually right in front of the jumbotron and she didn't react or anything. And then now we did a, a backup. We were told to pause or hesitate and then continue with our side pass. And I was really happy here because our side pass over the pole and our prelim round was the one thing where we kind of nicked it and bobbled a little bit. And then here in the finale, we got a chance to perfect that and show that we could do it perfectly cleanly. So that was pretty awesome. This one here is really tricky because it's vines, but it's also right beside the crowd, which sometimes can be a little bit startling for horses. They can get a little bit distracted or upset by what's going on on the outside of the ring. And Lissy just did that so calmly and so relaxed, which was fantastic. And then we do a little trot as we come into our gate here. We were told that we could do pretty much any speed that we wanted to between the obstacles except for after this obstacle, we were told that we needed to canter on a left lead. So for the most part, we got to choose what we wanted to do because we were given a time limit on our pattern. And so if we go over our time pattern, I think it was five minutes we were given to do the course, then we would um, get stopped at that point or have penalties. So we're trying to go through smoothly. And I think that's because they want to make sure things don't take that long, especially in the finale. There's so much to pack into the day. So then here, when I was asking Lissy for her canter, she was so lazy. We finally get a little left lead going and we had to go over these little canter poles here, which she kind of broke to the trot there. And apologies, the camera footage kind of cuts out. And then we were told to trot these poles here. And then we finish with a transition to the walk and coming to do a pick up and carry and then a pedestal at the end as well. So it's a really good course for the finale. I like it because it shows a variety of skills. You have to show your control with speed. You do a gate, you go through something like the fines. We go over the objects like the pedestal and the bridge. We show some technical skill with the backup and the side pass. So I think it's a really fair course and shows the variety of the skills in the horses. So Lissy came into this pattern with a four point lead, I believe it was, in her trail pattern. And then she did everything really, really nicely. The only thing she bobbled a bit on was the canter that she broke stride going over the poles, but everything else she did so cleanly and so calmly, so relaxed that she ended up uh, scoring really well and uh, ended up still being able to keep her first place uh, lead. Here she is going up onto her pedestal there and I just really kind of show off that she can stand and be relaxed there before we back off and, and head out. So this is us heading in with our blue ribbon, our champion ribbon and our champion cooler after being awarded first place. You can see the jumbotron uh, you got to see it there for a brief second before um, the camera footage kind of zoomed in there. And there were a lot of horses that were really reacting to that. And it was um, a little intimidating for them, mostly just because it's moving horses up there. It's not just pictures or anything. And it's pretty low down. It's kind of right at their eye level. And it's really, really spooky for them. So we're doing our little victory gallop here. So there's the five of us that rode in the pattern, but the top 10 are invited to come in and get their ribbons. So there's actually um, 10 horses that come in, but only the top five rode. And I wanted to kind of push her into that left lead canter and actually go for a good canter around to kind of show the judges she can really kind of hold a canter and, and keep going and 
especially because for our freestyle victory gallop, she was really, really slow too. So I wanted to show them that she can move because I knew that they all were watching and afterwards they'd be judging for the America's Most Wanted Thoroughbred, the overall title. So I wanted them to kind of see she can boogie and uh, she can move. And I just loved it because she was riding the way she does at home off site, which means we had that level of relaxation together, which was super duper awesome. So here just coming into the winner's circle, getting a couple pictures. We've got both of our blue ribbons on now. We've got our freestyle ribbon and our trail ribbon. So she's got two coolers and she's actually not my first horse to win two ribbons. The first horse ever to win two disciplines was my horse Trivia Time, who won both trail and freestyle back in 2016. So she's actually my second gray thoroughbred mare to do really, really well at the thoroughbred makeover, uh, winning two disciplines. So I was really excited and really happy, and, and that's Miss Lissy at Makeover.